All right, friends, welcome to part three of our laser cut gear tutorial. In this case, what we're going to do is to take our gear shape and add some custom text or graphics or both, if that's what you're into, to the shape. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to put some text around the inside of your gear so that it follows a circular path. And here's how we'll do it. So first thing I'm going to do is grab the circle tool from the left hand menu, hold down my control key, click and drag to drop in a perfect circle. You'll notice it is not perfectly centered. We're going to fix that right now. Remember, we grab the selection arrow from the left hand toolbar, select the circle that we're going to use as the path. So this is not the inner circle for the axle or dowel. This is the circle I just drew. I'm going to hold down the shift key and grab the outside edge of my gear. Go to object, go all the way down to align and distribute. And if you've looked at my other tutorials, you've seen this before. We're going to switch to biggest object. That's the outer edge of the gear. Center vertically, center horizontally. And now that path, the dark circle you see, is a perfect centered object. Let's close up our align menu for now. Now let's go and add some text. The text tool is also on the left hand toolbar. It looks like a bold letter A. Click. It doesn't have to be perfect yet. Around and around. And, and I will add our text. Now here's what I'm going to do next. The text is already selected. I will grab the selection arrow from the left hand toolbar, hold down the shift key on my keyboard, and also select that dark circle that we added. This is going to provide a path for our text to follow. So text and circle are selected. Up to the top menu bar, go to text and choose put on path. And it has now put that on a path for us. Okay, so now we have our text in place. Let's just grab the text tool again, and I'd like to make the font size a bit bigger so this blends a little better. So I will select my text and go up to the font size up on the top menu bar. You can also change font as well. And we'll see if 16 works. Let's try 18. And there we go we've got our text in place. Now, if you don't want to see that dark circle, the, the object we're using is a path, no problem. Click on it, but don't delete it. If you delete it, you lose the path. Instead, we're going to back to our fill and stroke menu and don't delete the circle. Just turn off the color by going to the stroke paint tab and clicking on the X. And now you have text that makes yours your gear easily identifiable and it's ready to go. All right, let's talk about graphics. So I'm going to delete my text. I've already picked a couple of graphics to work with. They're a silhouette of a dog and a cat. Remember, for laser cutting graphics, simpler is better. A photograph has too much detail and not enough information sometimes to show up well as a laser cut. So let's keep it simple. If you need help in what kind of image to select, ask me. So I'm going to go to File, Import, I've got the running cat silhouette, we'll open that one up, click OK. You've seen this before if you've used Inkscape, it's huge but no problem, we're going to hold down the control key. While we click and drag, resize the cat to a better fit for our gear. <coughs> you can leave it as is. If you do wish to rotate that, give it another click. And the arrows on the corners turn to curving arrows. And we can rotate the cat as needed. Now, do you notice how with this particular file, when I place it, it's actually covering up part of that center circle. This will 
cover up the cut line if we're not careful. But it's easy to fix. Keep that image selected, the image of the cat. Go to Object and go to Lower to Bottom. Now the cat image is actually no longer covering up that center circle. You really have to be careful with this, friends, because if you're not, your laser cut will not work. All right, let's add one more image here. <coughs> I've got a cat. What could be chasing the cat? You guessed it. We're going to go to File, Import, and find the dog. Or is the cat chasing the dog? We will never know. Let's open it up. Click on OK to approve our import. Whoa, that is a huge file. No problem. We're going to use the minus on our keyboard. Remember, plus and minus let you zoom in and out. And let's click on the dog. Hold down the control key again to keep that resize in proportion. I'll drag it to roughly where I want it. And then once again, friend, plus and minus, plus zooms you in, plus, plus, plus. Click on the dog again. I'm going to rotate that dog around. <clears throat> and you know what to do now. This dog is covering up part of our cut line, but not for long. We're going to go to Object. We're going to go to Lower to Bottom. And now the dog is also not obscuring our cut line anymore. Make any adjustments that you desire. And once you're happy with the layout of your graphics or text, do make sure that you save this as an Inkscape SVG first. And I'm going to give mine a quick file name change here. We got dog cat. And then if you are getting ready to laser cut this, remember your final step is to go to file, save as, switch the file format from SVG to PDF. Save it click OK, and email this file to the email that I provided you in class. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps give you success with your laser cutting gears, and have a great day.